I'd like to just let you know I really appreciate the opportunity to share some time with you again. Why don't you give Lenore a round of applause, please? Very beautiful personality. I'm very, very supportive of this ministry. I think that Jack Boland is ahead of his time, and the people here who show a level of concern in terms of empowering people and helping them to develop the skills that are necessary to navigate through some of the treacherous waters of life is something that's very much needed. This evening, we're going to be looking at how to get unstuck. I think some of you know what I mean. Sometimes we have to ask ourselves, what's using my life? I heard a guy give a lecture one time that says, we are today what we were when. And he was talking about the fact that we, to a great extent, behave, think, react because of some previous experience that we've had. One of the things that we know about life is that it is always changing. Sometimes you're up. Sometimes you're down. Sometimes things go real well, and sometimes they don't. Sometimes you're happy, and sometimes you're sad. Now that's that thing called life. And when we begin to understand and know that, accepting that reality that, that we will never ever have things just on an even kill all the time, that you're gonna have some ups and you're gonna have some downs. But during those down moments, that's where the growth takes place. That's where the work is. See, anybody can feel good when they have their health, their bills are paid, they have happy relationships, the children are acting normal, <laughs> business is successful. Anybody could be positive then. Anybody can have a larger vision then. Anybody can have faith under those kinds of circumstances. Am I correct? Yeah. See, but the real challenge the real challenge of growth, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, comes when you get knocked down. Somebody said that, that adversity introduces a man to himself or a woman. How you handle it, that's where the growth takes place. When I was facing some challenges, I had a guy say something to me and I suggest this is one of the first things that you wanna do when you're facing a challenge, you want to get unstuck. Evaluate where you are. Look at it, assess yourself. Assess yourself and assess the situation. What brought you there? What role did you play? Earl Nightingale had a saying I like. He said, all of us are self-made, but only the successful will admit it. <laughs> what has brought you to this point? What did you learn from it? Are you learning anything? Are you doing it over and over and over again? Somebody said that insanity is doing the same thing in the same way, expecting a different outcome. <laughs> are you going through it or are you growing through it? Are you bigger and better because of it? Because it's not going to leave you until you grow through it. I was going through a major challenge in my life that was wearing me out, that was using me. And one of my students told me in a class that I was teaching, Lessons in Truth, she said, Les, until you handle it with grace, it will stay in your face. Mm. And it stayed there a long time. <laughs> the challenges of life. How do, we get it, how do we get stuck? A friend of mine went through a divorce. My best friend. He had a wife that did not love him as much as he loved her. It was his first real true love. 